Hi, I'm Wellington Holbrook. I'm the Executive Vice President of Business and Agriculture at ATB Financial. And I'm Todd Hirsch. I'm the Senior Economist at ATB Financial. I think the entrepreneurial spirit in Calgary is one of the things that make it such a great city. Um, when you look at how fast Calgary has grown in the past many decades, a lot of that's come from the entrepreneurs and small businesses who've either grown to become large businesses or have just the, that spirit has just permeated through society and I think it's made Calgary one of the leading entrepreneurial cities in, in North America. And when you look at the economy of Alberta, a lot of times things get overshadowed by the really big corporate giants, which are important. But more people in Alberta work for small and medium-sized enterprises. That is really the backbone of the economy. It's what drives the GDP. It's what drives a lot of employment and a lot of incomes for Alberta households. Well, right now, Alberta's economy is doing very well. We've got very low interest rates, generational low interest rates. We've got an economy that's growing. Western Canada, Alberta particularly, is leading the country and leading a lot of places in the world in growth, a lot of opportunities. Uh, there are a lot of households with income that's rising. Good opportunities for small businesses at the moment. You know, I, I look at uh, a lot of things, and one of them would be that uh, I think the probability of success for small business in Calgary is probably better than most parts of the world. And we have a lot of the conditions that uh, Todd was just referring to, I think that obviously have a lot to do with it, but I think at the end of the day, we have a, uh, it's a great corporate center that I, I think just bleeds into more opportunities for small businesses to grow. Well, there are some challenges uh, for sure that small businesses do face. Costs are rising for small businesses. A lot of those are related to uh, worker costs, wages. Um, in Alberta right now, we are seeing wages growing faster than they are at any other province in the country, which for the economy and for spending is good, but it does add a challenge to those small businesses that have to generally match what larger companies are paying. There's also rising costs for commodities, uh, for other inputs. All of these things do make it, it's an expensive province in which to operate. It does add a layer of challenge for small business. I think one of the challenges as well is uh, we, being that we do live in a growing province, it might be a surprise to a lot of people that one of the leading causes of business failure is actually growing too quickly. And a lot of that has to do with just not having the capital that they need to, to achieve their dreams. So at the end of the day, I think access to capital and the expertise to get the right advice when you need it in terms of how to structure your business, how to fund your business and get where you want to go. Well, I think small businesses are a lot like people. Um, each one of them are unique. Um, they have a different culture, different ideas. And I think financial institutions have to spend more time understanding their clients. You know, Alberta is different, um, and financial institutions have to be different here as well. I mean, I think the heartbeat of our economy, I'm sure, Todd, you might, you would probably be better at speaking to that than I am, but the heartbeat of our economy is different than other parts of Canada. As a result, financial institutions have to be more innovative in terms of how we bring financial support to our clients to support them in good times and in bad, and at the end of the day, understand the DNA of our clients better so that we can deliver on the solutions that they really need. Mm -hmm.